the solar system. You know that the sun and the planets which revolve around it, along with their respective satellites and asteroids, form the solar system. The eight planets of the solar system can be divided into two groups, inner planets and outer planets. Mercury, Venus, Earth and Mars are the inner planets. Inner planets are also known as terrestrial planets, as they are rocky and dense, and their cores are made up of metals. Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune are the outer planets. Outer planets are large, with no solid surface. It is believed that they have a small, solid core and rotate relatively fast around their axis. Many planets of the solar system have satellites which revolve around them. The Earth has only one satellite, the Moon, but Jupiter has more than 67 satellites and Saturn has more than 62 satellites. We will begin our journey with a trip to the Sun, which is a star, and is at the center of the solar system. The Sun's diameter is about 1,392,000 kilometers. Three-fourths of the Sun's mass is hydrogen and almost one-fourth of its mass is helium. The Sun also has some amounts of oxygen, carbon and neon. The Sun is no different from all the other stars we see in the sky. Like the other stars, the Sun is a ball of burning gases and produces its own light and heat. Of the thousands of stars in the universe, the Sun appears the biggest because it is the nearest star to the Earth. It is at a distance of about 149.6 million kilometers. Light travels from the Sun to the Earth in about 8 minutes and 19 seconds. The energy of the Sun's light and heat supports all life on the Earth. All the planets and astronomical objects in the solar system are bound to the Sun by gravity. All planets of the solar system revolve around the Sun in a fixed orbit. The Earth takes about 365 and one-fourth, that is, six hours and eight minutes, days, to complete one revolution around the Sun. The Sun's size is about 109 times that of the Earth. It is almost 99.86% of the total mass of the solar system. The Sun produces energy by a process called nuclear fusion. It turns large amounts of hydrogen into helium every second, creating heat and light in the process. That is why the Sun is very hot. It is around 6000 degrees Celsius hot at the surface. Mercury, the closest planet to the Sun, is also the smallest planet in the solar system. Its diameter is just less than half the diameter of the Earth. Mercury completes one revolution around the Sun in only 88 days. Mercury takes 58 days to complete one rotation on its axis. During the day, Mercury's temperature goes above 400 degrees Celsius due to its proximity to the Sun. At night, the temperature drops down to minus 175 degrees Celsius as Mercury loses all its heat because it has almost no atmosphere to trap the Sun's heat. Let's go to the next planet of the solar system. Venus is the second closest planet to the Sun, also known as the morning star or evening star, as it can be seen clearly from the Earth just before sunrise and sunset. Venus which is almost the same size as the Earth, 
completes one revolution around the sun in 225 days. Venus rotates slower than Mercury. It takes about 243 days to complete one rotation on its axis. Venus has a very thick layer of atmosphere, which is made of carbon dioxide, nitrogen and some other poisonous gases. This layer of atmosphere maintains a high pressure on the planet and traps the sun's heat. A natural satellite or moon is a celestial body that orbits a planet or smaller body. The moon is the Earth's satellite. Mercury and Venus have no satellites. Mars has two small satellites. The larger outer planets have many satellites. Artificial satellites are sent into space for various purposes, such as sending television signals and monitoring weather conditions. The first artificial satellite, Sputnik 1, was sent by the Soviet Union in 1957. Since then, thousands of satellites have been launched into space. The Earth is the third planet of the solar system. It is the only known planet which supports life. The Earth is nearly 13,000 kilometers wide. It is the only planet in the solar system with water on its surface. Two-thirds of the planet is covered by water. The Earth's distance from the Sun, its atmosphere and the presence of water on it make it ideal for life. Life is found in every little corner of the Earth, be it the tiniest bacteria or the largest animal. The moon is about one-third the size of the earth. It has no light of its own and reflects the light of the sun. The moon does not have any atmosphere. It also doesn't have any liquid water on its surface. During the day, it becomes very hot, but at night it is icy cold. The moon revolves around the earth and also completes one rotation on its axis in 27 days and 8 hours. This is why only one side of the moon is visible from the earth. The visible side of the moon is called near side. In 1959, a probe sent back pictures of the far side of the moon. Now, let's continue our space mission. Our next stop is the red planet, Mars. Mars is only 7,000 kilometers wide, which is a little over half the width of the Earth. It has a thin atmosphere. The surface of Mars is very dry and dusty, like a desert on the Earth. It is also very cold. There are a lot of loose rocks and dunes of fine sand on it. It has the highest mountain in the solar system, the Olympus Mons. It also has the largest canyon in the solar system, Valles Marineris. Mars takes 687 days to complete one revolution around the Sun. We have completed our tour of the inner planets and now it is time to move towards the outer planets. Warning, asteroid belt ahead. Thousands of irregular small celestial bodies revolve around the Sun between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter. They are called asteroids or planetoids. It is believed that they are fragments of planets that existed between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter a long time ago. Now that we have dodged the asteroids, let's visit Jupiter. Jupiter 
Jupiter is the largest planet of the solar system. It is also known as the gas giant because most of the planet is made up of liquid and gas. Jupiter is a cloudy, windy and stormy planet. It is always covered by a layer of clouds. It completes one revolution in almost 12 years. Jupiter has 63 known satellites. Its satellite, Ganymede, is the largest satellite in the solar system. Look at the beautiful planet. Let's go towards Saturn. Can you see the ring around the planet? Saturn is the planet with a ring around it. The ring around Saturn is made up of rock and ice particles. These particles range in size from tiny specks of dust to the size of a house. Some particles can even be as large as a few kilometers wide. Saturn is the second largest planet of the solar system. It consists mostly of gas and liquid, though it may have a small core of rock and ice. Like Jupiter, even Saturn has many satellites. Scientists have so far identified 56 satellites and new ones are still being discovered. Saturn's biggest satellite, Titan, is almost as big as some planets. Saturn takes 29 years to complete one revolution around the Sun. It is now time to head to Uranus. Uranus has 11 rings. They are dark in color and very hard to see. Uranus consists mostly of rock and ice. Uranus also has 27 known satellites. The five main ones are Miranda, Ariel, Umbriel, Titania and Oberon. Uranus takes a whopping 84 years to revolve once around the sun. It means you can celebrate only one birthday at Uranus in 84 years. Neptune is the farthest planet of the solar system. Its diameter is almost four times that of the Earth. Neptune consists mainly of rock and metal in the core. The core is surrounded by rock, water, ammonia and methane. Its atmosphere is made of hydrogen, helium and methane. Neptune appears blue-green because of the presence of methane in its atmosphere. It takes 165 years to complete one revolution around the Sun. Neptune has 13 satellites. 